afternoon, Anisha. Good afternoon. Okay. Can I know about yourself? Good morning. Good afternoon, ma'am. Doctor, no. Good afternoon, ma'am. Thank you for giving me giving me this opportunity. Myself, Anisha. I completed my I completed my graduation in in the stream in in BSc Computer Science in the stream of uh, NCCS. I am currently staying in Hyderabad. Um, I am good at core Java testing and frameworks. I can speak Telugu, Hindi and English. My short term goal is to get a good job in a company. And my long term goal is to, to reach a better position in a, in a, in a company. I, I am a little bit creative person. Uh, I'm, I'm not a multitasker person, I can't focus on uh, two or three uh, projects at a time. I have a nuclear family, uh, father, mother, uh, uh, brother, um, grand, grandmother including me. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. Okay. Uh, Korjava is completed, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, I'll ask you a few questions in Korjava. Okay. okay. And what is abstraction? Abstraction is a concept in which we represent the essential features hiding the background details. Okay. Tell me the real time example. Okay ma'am. Uh, when we want to drive a car, uh, we, know, we, we know the basic details like how to uh, brake and how to uh, drive a car like steering uh, and gears but we don't want to learn about the uh, internal features like uh, engine, motor, I, we don't want to learn about those things. Okay. And what is encapsulation? Encapsulation, we combine the code and data in one single unit. Okay. Mm, tell me a few differences between abstraction and encapsulation. Okay, ma'am. In encapsulation, we provide the data security, and in the abstraction, we provide the code security. Okay. And uh, what is the abstract class? An abstract class can have at least one abstract method, ma'am. Um, but uh, an abstract method does not give any body. And in, in later we write an another method and we extend that abstract method body. Okay. Hmm. An abstract method without a without an abstract class. No, ma'am. An, an abstract class can at least have one abstract method. Okay. And explain final keyword. Final keyword. Uh, when final keyword when we use final keyword for variables that variables cannot be obtained and when we when we use the met, uh, final keyword for methods that method could not to override when we we use final keyword for classes that uh, the classes cannot be inherited okay is there any possibility to use abstract and final both within a method no ma'am, we can't use abstract and final both within a method. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Can we inheritance the abstract class? No ma'am, we can't instance the abstract class, but they can be subclassed. When the abstract class has subclassed, uh, the each the abstract class give uh, extend to extend details about the uh, its uh, three methods. Okay. What is the interface? An interface is nothing but a class. In, uh, in all the variables in instant, by the default, static and final. And the all methods in interface, the default abstract methods. Okay. What is static? Tell me a few examples. It is a keyword, ma'am. Uh, we use mainly static keyword for memory management. Hmm. Can you declare an interface method as static? No ma'am, we can't declare an interface as static because static methods cannot be overridden. Okay. Can be the interface be final? No ma'am, in interface, all interface has only abstract methods. Uh, interface cannot be final. Okay. And uh, what is marker interface? 
Marker interface is a tag that inform the JVM by a special message so that it can add some special features to that class implementing it. Okay. And tell me few differences between abstract class and interface. Okay, ma'am. Abstract class can have abstract methods and non-abstract methods, but an interface only have abstract methods. In 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 abstract class. Uh, we have uh, static, non-static, fi final methods, you know, but in interface only we have static and final methods. Abstract, abs abstract keyword is used for declare an abstract class and in interface keyword is used for declare an interface class. Okay, why we are using abstraction? What's the advantage? Abstraction, we want to achieve under we want to achieve an abstract abstraction, we use abstract. Okay. What we achieve 100%? Abstraction. Abstraction only. Okay. Hmm. Can you please write the program for abstraction? Okay. abstract class by using abstract keyword in the in abstract class at least one abstract method can have but we did not write any method for abstract method and we we, we take another class Now we can write main method. Okay, Anisha, your coding skill is better and you missed it a little bit eye contact. Okay, okay. Uh, next time you will be better. Okay, okay, ma'am. Thank you.